Hey guys, it's Shells. Everyone's been asking me, Shells, when's the next roast? Shells, please do a roast. And you know what? I've been listening, and today I'll be delivering. You guys want a roast. I want some views so I can pay my rent and buy some bags next weekend. So let's just get straight into it. This is Stacey's Sweet 16th Paint Party. Tonight, we've got teeny boppers. Jeez, this girl is already munted and the party hasn't even started yet. We've got alcohol and we've got paint. What an absolute great idea this is. Nothing is going to go wrong tonight here at all. Not one bit. Firstly, we've got the boys. Yeah, the boys. Got the drinks, raising a stubby, bloody oath. We've got the girls back again. Yeah, the girls. Got the typical Aussie teen girl starter pack right here. Smirnoff, UDLs, and Supre crop tops. These girls really look like the type that own a few Tumblr pages and cry about f boys on Facebook every night. And lastly, we've got the DJ. Get in with the little fat lamb by the decks. Wait, hang on. Is that a cruiser? This guy has gone from DJ sick to DJ in less than five seconds what a disgrace but the party will go on with this guy playing the bangers tonight and how do you get a party kicking well you should know by now with drugs so where's the dealer let's go find them no 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 maybe no bingo this guy we've got akon's indian little cousin rajesh as the supplier tonight this facial hair right here is a dead giveaway. This little goatee bum fluff action says to me, I've got heaps of bags and pingers. I may rip you off when it comes to the quality, but you're still absolutely going to love them. No wonder everyone is surrounding him. Everyone knows the go. He's got us sorted tonight. And as always, you've got to have some famous people rock up. I won't be catching a grenade for him, but we've got Bruno Mars down here. Great to see you, mate. Wake up in the morning, feel like P. Diddy. What up, girl? We've got Kesher. We've also got the main bloke from Project X here, Tom Cub. Good to see you too, mate. And you might have seen him earlier before. We've got Wolverine down here. Don't get him on the bags. He'll tear through everyone if he starts raging. Now we've got everyone dancing, having a good time. Wouldn't it be a shame if everyone was suddenly covered in paint? What in the Crayola colour dildo is going on here? It looks like Takashi69 has sprayed a gigantic rainbow load all over everyone at this party. Look at this. This is dead set wild. Who decided a paint party would be a good idea? Everyone's 50% off cotton on singlets and overpriced vans from General Pants are now covered in paint. Everyone's mothers are going to have to use a lot of nappy sand oxy action to get these out of their clothes. This actually doesn't look like paint. This one's a bit sus, but anyway, this girl looks quite amazed at how much fluid has been sprayed tonight. What's her parents going to think when they see their daughter holding a big green dildo shooting paint all over everyone? That's my daughter. Good on you, love. Pretty sure this bloke got lost on the way to Love Island. Look at him. You know, this guy has respected quite a lot of girls tonight. And Jesus Christ, the bags have really hit hard. Think there might have been a bit of LSD in there too. The cameraman has lost the plot. He's tripping out hard. Look at this. He's all over the place. Seen doubles and triples. Not too sure how long this party will last much longer for. It is getting real trippy out here. But hang on, it wouldn't be a proper ending to an Aussie party unless there was a fight. Apparently some drunk bogan is yelling out, Robbie Cruz is a better soccer player than Tim Cahill, and security aren't happy at all. They don't like that. They gotta sort this idiot out and get rid of him. But this bloke is putting up a, quite a fight, having a proper crack at these seckies. Everyone surrounds the fight like a pack of wild animals egging them on. Who from the crowd will be a responsible person and help stop this fight before it gets too out of control? Hopefully no one, because I really want to see someone get hurt. I love it. You love it. 
I think it's very Australian. Just stand around and yell out, fight, 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 while people are swinging at each other. Look at this. There's more biff and action at this party than the state of origin this year. The NRL could learn a thing or two from this. And if this photo doesn't sum up Aussie parties, I don't know what does. Literally got a teeny bopper chick with a bottle of gossip's wine doing a yeah that's mint sign while some loose drunk idiot is brawling with Sekis in the background. All this photo is missing is a jar of Vegemite and a kangaroo and it could have been the most Aussiest photo ever. Don't get me wrong, Australia is a beautiful country with stunning beaches, great weather and beautiful wildlife. But we also absolutely love to get on the piss and have a mad punch on, which has been on show yet once again tonight. But DJ Tun and his mates say the show must go on. Why does this bloke have a UDL can in his hand? Come on, mate. Are you going to shave your vagina as well? And lastly, Jono's mum has texted him saying, Hey, darling. Hope you're having a good time. Hope there's not too much trouble going on. Don't forget your shift at Mackie's tomorrow at 9am. Little does she know, Jono is five bags deep mixed with two he's extra dry. And the only place he's going to be at tomorrow at 9am is in some random backyard smoking Winnie Blues and a good old bottle of Powerade. This has been, once again, another rowdy teenage Australian party. I hope to see you next time. See you then. Yeah.